guys get into the Hall of Fame or skill position guys more thought of, but two linemen uh, going into the Hall of Fame this week. And what, what does that mean to go in with guys that are maybe not as typically highly thought of as maybe a running back or a quarterback? Or I feel good because it seems like the offensive linemen, we never get noticed unless we give up a sack or anything. But to be uh, inducted to Hall of Fame here at Michigan State is definitely uh, an honor. Well, talk about I guess this year for you, obviously with the North End Zone, the locker room, mm -hmm. I got done in, in honor of your mom and what happened with that and now the Hall of Fame. I mean, what, what's this year been like for uh, you? It's, it's been a very eventful year. And, uh, you know, uh, doing the locker room and everything um, in the name of my mom because uh, she's the reason I came here. So if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here right now or anything like that. So uh, I think it was quite a compliment having, you know, that in our honor in the North End Zone. and. Uh, and as for the Hall of Fame, I never even thought that I would even be considered to make it until Hollis called me up and told me. Like, oh, it was kind of exciting at that moment. I was just like relishing it for a minute as I was driving on the highway when I was talking to him on the phone. But uh, I appreciate it for all the people that voted me and everything. Where does that kind of rank? Obviously, you played the NFL for so many years, all pro, you know, you got to play in the Super Bowl. I mean, where, where does something like this rank for you? And maybe oh, this is been tops to on the list. It's tops on the list. I mean, this is like. We grew up basically. I mean, he came here like all oh, wet and snotty, know an 18 year old, think you know everything and don't know nothing. And then, and I uh, go through everything you do with like any other student, along with uh, fellow football players. And it's, it's quite an accomplishment. What What have you thought about telling? I know you guys are in, give your speeches in front of the guys who are getting their Letterman's jacket up, jackets, all the athletes. What are you looking forward to telling uh, those guys about? I'm just gonna tell them the same thing uh, that. That they're there, and I was there too, along with the other guys. We all go through the same thing. So hopefully they'll just transition and do all the things they need to do to be able to hope that they can make it one day. So looking back at your playing days, obviously you got to block for guys like Cedric Irvin and, and whatnot, and he got all the you know headlines or whatever you want to call it. But uh, maybe what are some of your favorite memories from, from actually playing a particular game or? Here at MSU? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the most memorable I had is uh, Penn State. And that was my last game here at Spartan Stadium. Uh, you know, they came in a highly touted defense. I believe they was ranked fourth or sixth in the nation, and they were only averaging like 50 yards a game. And we came in bust over 400 yards on them. And, and you know, we were hitting them so hard in the, in the first half, they were left scratching their heads. And came back second half, we thought they were going to come harder. We came harder than them and just kept on punishing them, let them know what's going on. And they didn't know what's going on after you hit them a couple of times. So that was one of the most memorable games I had. Well, was that the game where Cedric and – who was the other running back? Mark Renard. Yeah, you guys both have 200 yards. Yeah. Is that the game? I mean, that's like a dream for offensive linemen, right? Yeah, it's a dream for us. I mean, anytime you get a back over 100 yards, that's a good, that's a good day. When did you get your nickname? Did you get the hotel when you were here? or I got it when later? I was here. Okay, how how did you get it? I it really, you? really don't know how it started. And if I remember correctly, I think one of some commentator for one of the the games, I don't know, ABC, ESPN, one of those had made it up one day, and it's just one of those things that stuck. Caught on. What about playing against uh, Michigan? Uh, do you have, I don't know, uh, best memory of playing against Michigan was a particular. I know you're from Illinois, right? Yeah. So maybe did you understand the well, rivalry when, when you got here? When what I was first, it like? I, when I got here, I'm from Chicago. We don't know anything about Michigan, Michigan State. I picked a school that I, that I felt that was just best for me. And then, you know, a lot of guys told me, we got to beat Michigan, beat Michigan. I'm like, well, they're just a regular team. But as I got here, and that's all they talk about, I started realizing what this rivalry meant. Not only did I start realizing what the rival meant, it was like two weeks before Michigan came here. We had another game before then that we were practicing for, but the student body was preparing for Michigan. And as I'm walking through campus, going to class, I'm seeing that these, this Michigan deal is a, is a big deal. So then once this game started in the stadium, you just saw it. I mean, you just felt it going through your blood, and you realize that this is a big, big rival right here, and this is what it is. What was it like playing for uh, Nick Saban? back in the 90s. Obviously, he's a lot more popular now, a lot more people know him now. But well, he, was a, he was a nice, fresh young one back then, so uh, <laughs> it, was, it was tough. It was tough uh, with Coach, but uh, you know, he 
did the best he could with helping us do what we need to do, which he has. And uh, I say a lot of fellow athletes, along with me, have become successful, whether it's uh, going into athletics or being a professional, whatever job you come with, but because of that. So I'm definitely appreciative for it. I appreciate it. Now that you're uh, you've been back a few times now, what's, yeah. uh, what's changed around here that, that you've noticed? and? Uh, What's it like coming back? Uh, we was riding on a bus. I mean, I came for a couple of games, and uh, you know, I always come in from uh, whatever side that is to the stadium, and you know, maybe tailgate a little bit. I never came on this side. I'm like, what are all these buildings they have? <laughs> they have a lot of new stuff here. But uh, I mean, no matter how many buildings that you have put on this campus or anything, a Spartan is a Spartan, and you can just tell by the meter of the the students and the athletes that it's always going to be the same, and this is how we are. I know we talk about it in the spring, but how important was it for you to get back? Oh, it feels good to be back. Uh, that was one of my priorities when I was finished because, you know, as playing, we weren't able to come during the fall or any games, homecoming, anything like that. So I knew once I'd be done that I'd be start coming back. How about him giving back to the university and financially and contributing to the building, I mean, to the new project over at the football stadium? If you haven't had a chance to go through there, I'm sure you will. Yeah, I just felt it was a, it was a good thing to get, get back to the university, basically where you uh, grew up. So. Uh, it's just a good thing for the program, not only just the football program, a whole bunch of other programs that involve with Michigan State that it's going to help. How have, have you looked at it yet? Have no, I haven't seen it yet. I, they had, I walked through it back in April, but it wasn't even completed yeah, then. It was just a, a frame, a structure, or anything. But I, I saw the stuff online, but it's not the same unless you really go look at it. So I'm looking forward to seeing it tomorrow. You mentioned that you uh, picked Michigan State because of your mom. What's the reasoning behind that? I visited a couple of other schools, and uh, you know I wasn't really sure of it. And I was like, well, maybe this school or that school, something like that. And my mother was like, I really like Michigan State. I'm like, you like Michigan State? She's like, yeah, I like Michigan State. So I, you know, I thought about it a little while, and I was like, hey, Michigan State, I go. I, I mean, I liked it too, and I, when I came here as a recruit, and I met a lot of players and everything, and I just felt like this was home for me as soon as I got here. And I didn't feel that way with the other schools that I went to, and even that other school here in the state. But I definitely felt home here, and, that's, and when she had said she liked it too, that had helped me make a decision to come here.